Hi everyone, welcome to Psychic Consultant, this is Agatha. Um, welcome to your love reading for January 2016. Um, I just wanted to say um, a, a quick message to all of you at the beginning to say that they are quite specific this month, the messages that are coming through. So if the story or message doesn't resonate with you for your sun sign, please do check out your moon and ascendant um, because they are quite specific, um, the messages. So if it doesn't resonate with you, do check those out. Um, and if not, then maybe this month there isn't um, something for you. But I'm pretty sure that if you check out um, all three, then one of them is definitely going to have um, something there for you. Um, thank you so much for all your wa watches, likes, subscribes, comments. Um, it means a lot. Um, do like, subscribe and comment um, as much as you would like. And I'm really glad that I'm helping you all out with these readings and I'm really enjoying them. So lots of love and here's your reading. Hi Pisces, welcome to Psychic Consultants. My name is Agatha and this is your monthly love reading for January 2016. I've shuffled the cards very thoroughly. I'm going to lay out three different sections for this reading. The first, which I will do now, is a row which represents you. So we have the King of Swords, the Sun, the Lovers in Reverse, and the Four of Swords. The second row I'm going to lay out represents your love or your love interest. So we have the Eight of Cups, the Judgment card, the Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. And the middle section, I'm going to turn over later, but I will lay out. And these four cards are the a little kind of mini spread representing the relationship or the two of you. So... I can immediately see that this is going to be quite a good um, month for you in terms of love. I feel that this first card for you, the King of Swords, is representing you. So um, this is actually an air energy. Um, but it's a sign of mental stability and mental clarity and clear thinking. And I get the idea that you're in a very kind of clear thinking place when it comes to love and you're being a lot more um, intellectual or... or um, yeah, just mental really, rather than emotional in regard to your love life. But that is, is good for you. It's, it's a sort of a, a card of clarity. So you're in a very clear position and maybe some things have come out in the woodwork and there's um, a lot of clarity that's come out for you in terms of your partner and your relationship or this love interest that you have. Um, they, um, for their first card, have the Seven of Cups, which is the card of kind of dreams and illusions, and um, it's a little bit of the opposite of the King of Swords. It's like you're feeling very clear, but they're not feeling um, at the beginning of the month. They're, they're, they're just... It's not necessarily about you or the relationship, but they're just in a bit of a wishy-washy place, I feel. They're just not very grounded for the beginning of the month. 
Um, so there may be a little bit of um, miscommunication or not very much going on for you in terms of um, this person for the first week in January or around the beginning of January because um, they're just a little, little bit of a different place. But that's of no matter to you because the second card that you have is the sun. So you're feeling very optimistic. This is the card of optimism. So you're feeling really um, exuberant and happy and light and um, excited about, about life in general. And... Um, and about yourself and feeling very good. Um, and this is mirrored on their side by the the judgment card. So it's it's almost though like there is a little bit of uh, some differences between you at um, the beginning of the month that they're in this place where they're they're not really. Um, sure of themselves but they do come to some they do come to some clarity and, and understanding um, it could be in regard to the relationship it could be that they're not very um, they're not very sure of how they feel and maybe what happens is you come you come to them with this um, King of Swords energy, this clarity, and ask them and communicate very effectively what you need. I feel as though you are communicating to them what you need and what you desire. And if you are unable to communicate to them that, then you're definitely aware of it. Um, but I do feel as though you, you do. And then it forces them to come to some realisation or agreement it's like you sound it's kind of like this represents you and you're sounding this judgment call and they have to you know come to a decision and the decision that they come to um is a good one um but so because you have this lover's card in reverse and this is um yeah, this is, you do have two major arcana cards. So it's, you have the sun, which kind of represents you, and the lovers. So you will find love. Love will be good, but it will just be a little bit slow to take off in um, January. And that can just be seen in the cards of the other person. They're just a bit wishy-washy and unsure. But towards the third month, it will um, overturn. And um, the third, not the third month, the third week. Because they then have, in their section, this Ten of Cups, which is the card of emotional fulfilment. And you can see those Ten Cups there with the rainbow and family and great communication and really good. And even though this is mirrored by your lovers in reverse, I take it to mean that there's just a bit of impatience. There's still maybe a little bit of impatience on your on your behalf and even though they do get going the message that I'm getting is that I feel as though you're going to you're going to feel that it's not enough it's that the love is there but it's not enough but just to let you know from their perspective it is kind of everything and whether they communicate it or not um, it is a very, they have made a decision and a judgment that this is a good thing for them and this is a very strong, successful, good partnership that they do want to invest in. And this message is taken even further with this Ace of Cups, which is emotional fulfillment, the cup is overflowing, and a new beginning of emotional clarity and stability and feeling really good. And so that's what's going on with them. But to you, I think it's going to feel, you're going, you're going to feel as if they're dragging their feet. And I don't think, I, I'm not sure that you're going to get um, over this. It's, it's like you're not going to forgive quickly this kind of little wobble that they have. It's going to take you a while to like flip this lover's card. And you're, you're going to like 
have a little bit of a rest. Um, but you will find peace with it. I'm feeling like you will, you will find peace, but it's like you're going to say, I just need to take some time to myself and chill out with this a bit and not get so stressed about the whole situation because I feel as though you're, you're in danger of um, thinking a bit negatively about it and it's, there's nothing negative going on and maybe just pondering too much on any doubts that they may have which I think they may communicate to you. I feel like there's this lot of communication going on and you're communicating really well and so are they, but it's just like they may have said some things to you that you hold on to and gives you a little bit of um, like cause for concern, but there isn't any cause for concern. So the advice is, this is what's going on for them. You can trust them, you can, but that doesn't mean that you don't just chill out and take a rest with it because I feel like that is the right thing to do. And you can do that and you can be at peace because it is all good. And they have very strong feelings for you, which they realise. And they, they always did, but they just had to find that clarity and, um, and they have. So I'm going to flip the middle cards. So we have the Queen of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the King of Cups and the, ten, the Nine of Cups. So... Immediately, this is great because we have any time in a love reading when the, the king and the queen of a suit come up together, that's a sign of good connection, good communication. And it's cups, so it's love and it's um, emotion. So we have the king and the queen here um, representing you and this love partner or interest. And so no matter what's going on, know that this is a very good and equal partnership, which is good for you. Um, and there are lots of kind of cups going on in the reading, so um, it's 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 a love connection, it's a deep connection, it's a deeply emotional connection, and I do feel like you really have good communication, and that's really good, and probably one of the most important things in relationship is that you're able to communicate what you need and 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 how you're feeling about um, the relationship. The basis of your relationship is the Nine of Cups. So this is a, the Wish Come True card, the Wish Fulfillment card. So for both of you, I think this is um, something that you've been waiting for and you've been wishing for, is this kind of openness and this kind of ability to communicate. And even though sometimes it may make you feel a touch insecure and unsure because you might hear things that you might not necessarily want to hear. It's better that people communicate their fears rather than let them fester. Um, it's good that they can communicate and then you can communicate um, back to them. And I do think that it's like you come to them with this clarity. They tell you that they're unsure. You kind of come back to them with this sun card and this optimism. And they, you know, it's like you call the judgment on them and they judge it. And it's good because they get this clarity. And the truth is that no matter what's going on, or any fears, or anything that could could be going on, this is this is the the relationship that you've both been wishing for, um, and this becomes apparent to them. And this is this confirmation of you with this kind of any little bit of uncertainty here you have for this lovers in reverse with this Queen of Cups and King of Cups. It's that you've got. You know, you, you just flip it. And also the Wheel of Fortune, because the Lovers is next to this Wheel of Fortune card, the Wheel of Fortune card in reverse is kind of irrelevant because the Wheel of Fortune keeps turning. That's the point of it. And this is also the card of Destiny and card of Luck. It's the same kind of thing. It's just like when you are being true to yourself and who you really are, Destiny will deliver you your wishes. And... So this wheel, of for this wheel of fortune is in reverse. This, is, and the lovers are in reverse. This turns, and the lovers turn, and the lovers. You can see those two there, like on one side the queen, and on the other side the king. So this is just a very. These are all signs of very secure partnerships here, and because this queen of cups is crowning. Um, you two. It's this, it's very uh, secure, stable, emotionally. And I think this is what you've both been wanting. And, um, you know, any fear that you have regarding love and, and this 
this person. Um, if you're single, which I don't, I don't feel that you you are, but if you are single, there's definitely um, a strong a whole load of partnership going on in this reading. So you will, there's a very strong chance that you will meet somebody in January if you are single, because. Um, yeah, like I said, the, the king and the queen, the wheel of fortune, the lovers, it's all its all um, going on. And, you know, if you are single, it's really good because you have got this clarity about what you want and you're getting out there and communicating it. And you will, especially it feels like towards the end of the month, this, this um, if somebody will come in, if you if it's the, the, the case that you are meeting somebody this month, it will be around the third week in January that you meet them and it will be a very good partnership and kind of wish fulfillment kind of thing but you may feel a little bit unsure of them but don't be don't be there's no reason for you to feel unsure and that could just be a little bit of your fears coming up okay I'm going to pull a clarifier outcome advice card to see what that could be to help us out. The last thing. Okay, I'm going for this one. All oh, right, so yeah, we have the Eight of Wands, which is the card of moving forward, things moving, and often Cupid's arrow. So if you're single, definitely love coming in. Definitely 100% love coming in. Um, as long as you're able to you know, maintain this happy, optimistic um, disposition. It's no um, surprise that when you are embodying this sun card and feeling good and happy, and this is just this exuberance, when you are behaving like that and being like that, and that's kind of in the second week, in the third week, you then find this love appearing. Um, and if it is a relationship, and the, as, the, as the reading I, I kind of gave was, it's just that... There do not have any fears about it. That might might be a little bit wobbly at the beginning, but this is you know Cupid's arrow. This is the real deal. This is wish fulfillment, and um, this is what you really want. So, chill out, be peaceful, um, and you know allow your destiny to play out. And the destiny does seem to be that the, this is the lovers. So that's really optimistic. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this, please do like. Um, if you would like to um, be notified of my um, videos as they are uploaded, I will be doing another set of videos for next month. I also do twin flame readings. Um, I may do some general readings as well, if you have other interests to do with um, career and uh, things like that, or more general energies. If you would like a personal private reading, please do email me at agathapsychic at gmail.com. I do do twin flame readings, which um, have been very popular. Um, so, yes, otherwise, have a brilliant January. Looks like there's a lot of love on the cards, literally. Um, and hopefully I shall see you ne next month. Take care, lots of love.